Welcome to Drawfee, where we take dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Nathan. I'm Jacob. I'm Julia. And I'm Nat. But you might recognize me as Left at London. That's right, guys. We got Left at London on. All of you on Twitter needed it. You wanted it. We you did it. You can all calm down now. You can all calm down now. It's happened. Get out of my DMs. Or get you off can my mentions. conversely get more excited. Oh, yeah. That's maybe, true. Yeah. maybe do that too. <laughs> Uh, Nat, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? I'm a singer-songwriter left at London. Uh, you might recognize me from my musics, but if you don't, then you probably recognize me from my How to Make a Tyler the Creator song video, How to Make a Frank Ocean song video. Uh, I used to do Vine, if you remember the ha ha ha, I do that. That's me. I just have a different voice now because I'm a trans. Uh, <laughs> nice. But, yeah. That'll happen. <laughs> that happens sometimes, yeah. I, I, I stepped too hard in estradiol, and all of a sudden I became a girl. It's, weird. it's the weirdest shit. You, you fell into an open vat. <laughs> I fell in. The real Alex Mack story. Yeah. <laughs> Nat Puff fell into a radioactive vat of estradiol and became just a girl. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's not even like a superhero story. It's just like I just became a girl and that was it. And everyone was like, cool. Yeah. yeah. Great. <laughs> nice great. origin. Great. We love it. Well, thanks so much for being on the show with us. Uh, we've got a, a fun uh, challenge. <sighs> Today. Yeah, this challenge was actually given to us by Nat. We're gonna draw album covers based only on their titles. Well, I'm ready to design an album. I love the musics. I love the, all the fun art that they have on their albums. Uh huh. And I want to draw one. I love music. I love a uh, train. Uh, I love. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I love, uh, love that train. I I, I love tr tr train. <laughs> <laughs> It's mostly so what train. You're, what you're it's telling me is that we're train. getting a lot of train albums today. Yeah, the full discography. Uh, yeah, you know, the entire, uh, <laughs> the first one is Drops of Jupiter. No, uh, but uh, should I start with the first one? Yeah. Yes, okay. hit Nathan with that album. All right. Pcha, it's <laughs> dinner dates for the end of days. Dinner dates for the end of days. Ooh, yeah. I actually, I don't know who this album is. Okay. I was hoping I would know so I could be cool. Yeah. And instead... I'm just a fucking asshole. Now you're just normal like the rest of us. Oh, did you just call me and Nathan assholes then? Because we don't. Yeah. I don't know. Wow. You guys are always fucking assholes, but <laughs> me only sometimes. Yeah. No, that's true. Okay. Starting off with a potato? That's a potato. No, this is a date. Oh. Uh, <laughs> no, no. Nathan. <laughs> you piece of Nathan. shit. <laughs> it's like, this is like a California Raisins sort of album, right? <laughs> it's uh, dinner dates. These dates, they're gonna they're gonna wine you and dine you for the end of days. I can't believe this. Maybe you are an asshole. <laughs> Maybe Jacob was right. I mean, has Jacob ever steered us wrong? Oh In God, his... what's wrong with its knees? Um, the, it's... they're dates. That's that's how <laughs> that's how dates knees go. Oh my God, what are you doing? What is this? Why do you get the glasses? It's a date. It's like a music. They're 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 singing. The only music Nathan knows is the California raisins. The California raisins. <laughs> Alvin and Listen, the Chipmunks. One. Only the classics here. Yeah, only the classics. You're you're gonna you're giving me nothing to go off of. I'm gonna I'm gonna make do with what I've got. So I we've think got... you have a very descriptive uh, album title. To be fair. Yeah, yeah. they're di yeah. they're you know? dates. They're bringing you dinner. Yeah. And it's the end of days, so yeah. we're gonna get some apocalypse sort of. Uh... So these dates are like the harbingers of the end times. Yeah, they're like the four horsemen. <laughs> I mean, if you did see this date just like scuttling out from the corner of your house, I'd be like, yeah, no, I guess I'm either going crazy or everything's ending. Nathan, you yeah. made a late '90s commercial. That's what album covers are. This is are, a late right? '90s commercial for Who? like regulating yeah. your bowels. <laughs> this, this is gonna. <laughs> You got to get those dinner dates. I like how you can identify each individual date by their like glasses type. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like each individual date has like their own pair of glasses and they're like, "Oh, this is the Shutter Shades guy. It's 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 Shutter Shades, <laughs> man. It's it's Tommy." Yeah, Tommy and then you got Radical Randy on the right, the guitarist. Wait, so Tommy has a regular ass name and there's another like there's another person named Radical Randy. Did they get to pick their names or did, was they just like <laughs> bestowed upon them? I feel like Tommy tried to get a cooler one and they were like, Tommy, fucking cut it out, dude. You're Tommy. You're not pulling it off. Like he's trying to go like, uh, t t t t t typewriter, Tommy? Can I, can I have a typewriter? Can I play the typewriter on stage? 
Call me Tubular Tom. No one really says tubular anymore, Tom. Yeah. Come on. And you're really? not that tubular. Like, it's you, it's time to be it's, honest with yourself. Yeah. And it's fine, you know? But, like, I, I think Tom just suits you best. Like, no, I really think tubular. No. no Is there such so. a word as tubulent? <laughs> tubulent. It's like yeah. turbulent, but yeah. for being tubular. Yeah, like it's like the it's like the matter that that like makes you tubular, like tubular. <laughs> like you're low on your tubulin levels are like very low, dude. Just like yeah, late you 80s go to the doctor. <laughs> go to the doctor. I am sorry to say that your diagnosis is low tubulence. What's this? Jesus, this is the end of days. It's the end of days. We got some skulls on the ground. Oh, okay. They're so happy. <laughs> are they? The, are they like? Bringing they're the, the end of days? Yeah, they're the harbingers. Wait, okay. are these dates huge or is this skull really tiny? These are these dates are huge. Oh. I, th- these oh. are big. These are these are Oh, I hate them more. Yeah, they're Wait, they're is that terrifying. a tortoise? Are you like making a tortoise body onto like the onto like the skull or oh, that's the second skull. Never there's mind. just there's just some skulls. <laughs> I thought you're making like a human head with a like tortoise body. I was like that seems pretty end of days-ish. Yeah, that would be very frightening. Not enough tortoises, Nathan. Not enough tortoises in this drawing? No. Yeah, add a tortoise. I'll add one. Okay, here's one tortoise. If there's no tortoises, if there's no tortoise eye, I will walk the fuck off, I swear to God. (laughs) The tortoise is the band manager. (laughs) I like that. What if his name is Tommy Tortoise and like regular Tommy has to just deal with the fact that there's like, that like Tommy Tortoise gets like another name and he doesn't? (laughs) They call him Tubular Tommy Tortoise. <laughs> tubular Tommy Tortoise. And Normal Tommy is just seething. <laughs> they call him Normal Tommy? Yeah, Normal Tommy. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, good. I like that you called him a band manager, but there is just one guy holding a microphone and like a little uh, covered dish, and another dude just has a guitar. That's the, the whole band? That's the whole band. That's the band. That's what that's what bands that's are. That's all you need that's, is a yeah. guitar, an electric guitar specifically, and a singer. What's worse is that he doesn't actually sing into that microphone. He just like hits the dinner dish with it, and that's the <laughs> percussion. <laughs> <laughs> There's like a shit ton of feedback every time. <laughs> the concerts are like brutal to go to. You, you, you noticed, cannot hear the guitar. I haven't made a drummer. That's because you don't need a drummer when you've got... <laughs> Dinner date. We've got normal Tommy. I have a question. Should uh-huh. we yeah. look up what this cover looks like after this, or should we just uh, yeah. look at Mr. Roll? I, okay. I actually am pulling it up right now. Okay, cool. Yeah, because I definitely do want to know. It's probably this. It's, yeah, <laughs> probably this. It's probably exactly this. Yeah, this album cover, weirdly, was in a uh, 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Yeah. Which doesn't work for albums. Really but... long CD. Yeah, really it's... long. Yeah. Oblong CD. I actually know of like this dude. He's like this father of like an old friend of mine. And he made like a 48 hour album that like the album cover is actually in this aspect ratio. Wow. That's crazy. He's the Guinness Book of World Record holder for like the longest album, I believe, or at least he's trying to. Or the last last that I talked to him, he actually produced like my first mixtape prior to um, like releasing like my actual EPs and stuff. Oh, cool! Oh my god, I just like looked back at the drawing. <laughs> it's good, right? <laughs> what artist is this? Scarves. Scarves. Oh, I didn't draw any scarves. Yeah, you didn't include <laughs> a single scarf. <laughs> Too late now. Oh. oh, oh, this is a great album that's cover. Very oh, that's very nice. Beautiful. There's alien ships and there's. Some plants? plants. I like that art style a lot. I love the the two colors. Yeah, the blue and the yellow ish. Yeah, it's yeah. it's a very good album cover. I just want to say my friend Nessa is actually in this band, so I'm kind of like promoing them a little bit, and I just want to say hi Nessa. Hi Nessa. Hi, Nessa. Uh, I'm listen to your album. If you need alternate art for your <laughs> album, uh, hit me up. Uh, I've got a pretty good sketch right here that I think uh, is a good concept and definitely adds sort of a fun. <laughs> New take. Your your cover's good. Your co- no, listen. Your cover's, your, really your cover's good. good, but if you want like a wide cover <laughs> with some sort of California raisins vibes, <laughs> hit me up. <laughs> All right, I'm done. Someone else draw. Nathan, great work. <laughs> Thank you. <I> guess. <laughs> Jacob's turn. Yeah, let's let's swap seats. Okay. Okay. This next album is Pregnant with Success. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. That sounds kind of like uh, Pete Holmes's first stand-up album. 
impregnated with wonder. Where is, it's, is this one of Pete Holmes's stand-up albums? Is this albums, another Pete Nat? Holmes stand-up album? <laughs> <laughs> he just kept on getting pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, do I know Pete Holmes? I'm gonna Google that bitch. He's like, I don't know, if like Kenneth from 30 Rock was like an anarcho-capitalist. That's what he looks like. <laughs> He's six feet six. He's a big boy. He's so tall. He's yeah, he tall... shouldn't be that tall, I don't think. <laughs> and he turned 40 two months ago. Wow. Happy, Happy birthday. Happy late birthday, Pete Holmes. It'll be Happy three... late birthday, Pete Holmes. Sorry for what I said about your appearance. <laughs> <laughs> three months ago from when this episode comes out, probably. Yeah. Then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Takes about a month from recording um, to posting. Hey, so Jacob. Yeah. I got questions. I'm depicting the the beauty of pregnancy. Uh, <laughs> slash Kirby with legs. Well, right now. she's gonna have arms and a head. The head's gonna be like up uh-huh. here. This is the this is Violet Beauregard you're drawing. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's the great before it uh, dries up and becomes the raisin. So we're uh, still sticking with the California Raisins. I'm not going to join your California Raisins extended universe, Nathan. <laughs> well, you've drawn a grape. This is not a grape. This is a, a, pre- getting, this is a woman with the gift of life growing inside of her. I'm getting some mean <laughs> flashbacks to the dark corners of DeviantArt, and I'm not happy. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm not happy about this. This is a little- I'm happy about re- it. Reminiscent of- a, a genre. She does look a little surprised by how big her belly is. No, she's happy. She's, she's excited. Yeah. She's showing she's it off. <laughs> she's got, <laughs> it's my baby. She's got a ponytail. <laughs> hey, Jacob, can you do me a favor and erase those lumps? Those are th- those are the <laughs> boobs. Why are they so far apart? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? She's pregnant. <laughs> Wonderful things happen to a woman's vibes. <laughs> So I think she's just got like a really big, what's it called, pregnant with success? Pregnant with success. This is a lot of success that she's pregnant with. A really big successful baby is gonna be in here. Oh, is this is the prequel to Boss Baby. This is the prequel to Boss Baby. <laughs> so the Boss Baby is gonna be inside of here. This is sort of an x-ray view. Okay. Um, you know, with like I, maybe like some money sunglasses. I really don't like those lumps. Nathan, what's your problem with the female body? That's I my question. find it frightening. <laughs> we have no body shaming here on Drawfee. That's true. Yeah, okay. no body shaming here on Drawfee. You're right, that's just her body. Some um, people's boobs are way up there and they're really far apart and they and... defy gravity. <laughs> uh, what is what, this? What is that The baby has say? like, it's like cash sunglasses. You, oh, cash yeah. sunglasses, that just says yeah. S. Well, for right now it does. I'm not done <laughs> okay. yet. Okay, good. Because I was like, are you like drawing like SS, like the Nazi thing? And I was like. <laughs> no, no, that's not you... my definition of success personally. Oh, good. Uh, yeah, huh. th- these are money sunglasses. These are money sunglasses. Okay, good. Because what success is, is having a lot of money. Yes. I don't Obviously. know any other way you can be successful. Um, happiness, who no. needs it? Don't need that. Fulfilled in your life and career and relationships, Ugh. who needs it? When you got money. Yeah, I can buy someone who's fulfilled to look at and be yeah, like, you, you be fulfilled for me. How yeah. big is this success baby question? Because the head alone is like taking like so much space and it's not even all the space that's being occupied. Like this, this lady's organs are being like shoved <laughs> to the side. I mean, that's the price you pay for success. Yeah, if you want to have a successful baby, no pain, kinda... no pain, no gain is the, oh, okay, so some some long legs. These are baby legs. It's got like a lima bean head. What? <laughs> That's a classic Jacob bean head. Yeah, I, I love to draw a bean head. This is just the price you pay if you're pregnant with success. It's, it's gonna be- It's, it's gonna, gonna be... be hard. It's gonna be hard to have the success, <laughs> but it's worth it. It's worth it in the end. Oh, this the... baby's gonna be giving a thumbs up so you know that it's- super happy. That it's all good. I didn't know that was like a hair on top of the baby's head at first, so I thought you were just like drawing like the baby as a sailor scout or something. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if that's what your definition of success is. Honestly, then yes. Sailor Moon was like a successful woman. So, yes. I remember I... she was really hungry and like late to everything. That is true. But she did um, you know, fight crime and evil and whatever. Yeah, by moonlight. By moonlight. But it's like what was she doing by daylight, you know? Trying to live, dude. I guess. Finding love? Wasn't it finding love? It was supposed to be. 
But did winning, she? She did win Love by Daylight. You are right. Wait, is she pregnant with Elvis or something? What's happening here with, with the hair? This is my Silent idea of success. Baby. This is what Jacob <laughs> aspires to be. I don't know what success means. You, you gave <laughs> Jacob sort of a Rorschach test to to have him draw what his vision of success is, and it's a a big giant Elvis baby with money glasses. Yeah, and I think like she's already made a lot of money. Like this baby's already doing work. Well, because the sponsors they know this baby's a big deal, so they want to get. They want to get the sponsorships. Yeah, they want to get in on like ground floor. Mm-hmm. Right. And you had to be, you know, you had to become pregnant with success somehow. And I imagine it was a little bit of success. It was some success. <gasps> oh. oh. That's X rated. We got to cut that out. Um, All right. I have to be done. Yeah. I think please. legally I, I have to be. I can't yeah. look at this. I have to stop <laughs> doing this. It's crazy how desensitized I got to the ba- the base drawing is still very upsetting like yeah. the cool baby and the stacks of money are cool and then you're like oh he's inside a- oh oh no <laughs> oh right that's a that's a person yeah I mean I don't know what else it could have been other than this that I've drawn <laughs> yeah um, that lady's legs are gonna fucking break like she doesn't even have knees it looks like like at least at least the raisins had knees Yes. Yeah, exactly, Jacob. She's, she's happy. Look. I put a happy face. She's happy. It's all good. It's what, all um, fine. What artist was this? Jungle Pussy. Nice. Jungle nice. Pussy. Yeah, I'm not sure if any of you are familiar with Jungle Pussy, but I found out about her because that her song Nah, like N-A-H, was like suggested in my like recommended videos was immediately like that's a great name i gotta check her out and lo and behold nah is like if i if i knew how to skate that'd be like one of the songs that i'd skate to you know (laughs) i do know (laughs) i've thought about that a lot (laughs) okay oh this is cool again it's just a cool that is cool cool photograph much uh cooler than a certain other image. I mean, mine's also cool. It's cool in a different way. It's cool in its own way. I think some people would look at this and say, that's really cool. Yeah. And I'm glad. <laughs> it's cool in the way that like a Saw movie is cool. It's like, oh, this is grotesque <laughs> and horrifying. Like, that, that's cool. And that's cool. Yeah. I bet people are watching this right now and saying, I'm glad Jacob drew that. <laughs> At, the, at least one person must be thinking that. Yeah, one person, statistically, one person must be thinking that. Oh, boy. Uh, Julia, will you draw now? Yeah, please. Okay. Okay, you ready? Yes. This this last album is Motor Booty Affair. <laughs> Julia, Julia just sat back in yeah, her seat. Just takes a deep breath, looks <laughs> down. I always think that I'm ready for Drawfee episodes <laughs> and like, I'm ready for whatever, you know, is thrown at me. And then just I'm proven wrong every single time. Motor booty affair. I saved this one specifically for Julia, I have to say. I normally don't like uh, say the artist names as you're drawing these. But I think the fact that this artist is like well known might help you with the image and why it was called the motor booty affair. Uh, Because it's a well known artist. It's uh, George Clinton and the Parliament Funkadelic. Oh, of course. Yeah. So it's one of those like funky, those freaky funky albums. Yeah, for sure. Like somebody, <laughs> somebody in the middle of the album goes like, "Hey," you know, like. <laughs> yeah. Oh, a lot of times. Like not yeah. just once. Hey, hey, hey! Like, hey, hey, hey! <laughs> <laughs> like what? What? <laughs> I'm listening. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time like drawing a bed right now, but I am. This may be the worst bed you've ever drawn. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it is. Julia, you've made your bed. Now you've lie made in your it. Bed. <laughs> okay, I know what I'm gonna do. But I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. Here we go. It's gonna come at us. Oh, okay, this bed's, yeah, I this like bed's that. coming at us. Start with the trapezoids. Us. Yeah, start yeah. with the trapezoid. A strong trapezoid. Getting some some little Nemo vibes. Don't erase that. Erase little Nemo vibes from this, because I gotta draw. <laughs> this is the motor booty affair. Motor booty affair. But you, but it is a bed. Do you remember the movie Robots? Yes. Remember Aunt Fanny? I think her name was. No, I never saw Robots. You I never, never saw, saw robots? robots, but I remember that movie coming out. Yeah, there was like a huge like bit was like they just had a. I think her name was Aunt Fanny, and like they just had a character that was a robot with like a giant, well. Trunk and uh, <laughs> nice. 
they just kept on being like, whoa, she has a large ass. And well, they didn't say that verbatim because it was a kid's movie. But like, yeah, there was like a point where Robin Williams's character just like got like pinned to a wall by accident because she turned around or some shit. It was it was a kid's movie. We all That's we all fun. laughed at the time. That's fun. Getting pinned against a wall in a robot butt. Yeah, yeah. that's just good old fashioned that's, fun. That's just some good. That's just some good physical comedy. Yeah, definitely didn't awaken anything in me. No, sir. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, someone watching that was like, "Oh, this is my kink." It's like, yeah. oh no, oh, ah, <laughs> oh, dang, oh dang. Well, I guess I. I love it. <laughs> Oops. So, question: uh, Since this album is made by uh, George Clinton and the Parliament Funkadelic, uh, how many of you are familiar with the Parliament Funkadelic? Nope. I am familiar. Jacob is familiar. I'm familiar okay. with nothing. Well, they're like this funk <laughs> band. You you might actually have heard some of their songs. Like they did Atomic Dog, uh, which was like sampled in Snoop Dogg's like Snoop Dogg it dog. Oh, okay. Like they're like this classic funk band, and they I actually found this out last record store day. Record store day? It's a nice. It's a good day. A little like record store holiday. Yeah, it's like they like do special record store releases. Uh, how for, how often did they do that? Uh, twice a year, they did a release of a really early Parliament Funkadelic recording back when they were a doo-wop group. They used to be a doo-wop group called the Parliaments. Oh my god! Oh my god! I just looked at the screen. Yeah, we're we're exploring as we go. So just we've, keep. We've got sort of um. This looks like one of them, one of them robots from uh, from Saga, a little bit. Oh yeah, like the ones oh, that have yeah. the TVs for heads. Except it's not a TV. That's a. Is it? What is I'm that? I'm assuming it's a motor. It's a motor. It's a boat motor. Oh okay. Yeah, I think they got little okay. handles on them. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now it's, it's now. Really it's oh down. okay. Now yeah, I yeah, see yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Great. I'm sorry. My inaccuracies were, <laughs> I think, confusing. Okay. So we've got boat motor yeah. man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doing a crouch and doing a heckin' crouch. Their hands up <laughs> as if grasping at something. Perhaps a Perha booty. Perhaps a booty. Perhaps a booty. Perhaps perchance a booty. Julia, are you just about to draw like a really explicit drawing of ass eating on Drawfee? No. <laughs> Is this motor just gonna be going to town on some booty <laughs> like right here, just like fully full on? No. Now that's what now that's what I call motor boating. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Can you repeat the uh, title for me, please? Motor Booty Affair. Motor Booty Affair. Yeah, it's you don't have to like pronounce motor, it as, as well as I did. I, I feel like one of those affair. I feel like one of those like dictionary like things where you like click on the little sound bite and then it's like motor booty affair. You know? <laughs> okay, so it's two of these motor friends yeah. just sort of doing. Motor friends are what fans of motorheads call themselves, for yeah. sure. I was about to say, like, are you friends. sure this isn't a motorhead album? Because I'm seeing a lot of motorheads. Yes. Uh, and not a lot of motor booties. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Someone's walking in. Did the in. other motor person come home from their business trip early? There's a lack of booty here. The well, main, the booty is implied. Yeah, it's like you know, getting getting booty. Give As that a, person on the left in the bed just like a little bit of junk in the trunk, you know, just a, oh, just yeah. a little, just a little ass print, you know. Okay. Lump it out. Hold on. Lump can it we out. Get a little. God damn it. Can we get a little butt lump? Thank you. Thank you. Can I just say that those candles on the top of the bed, considering that their heads are motors, is an extreme fire hazard. Oh yeah, they're yeah. not. They're knocking those over all the time. It's very soon. And they're also just like. I imagine just dripping motor oil everywhere. That Especially is true. Especially right now they are. This is a huge fire hazard. Because things are getting hot and heavy in here. Yeah. Aw, is that the is that a picture of them? Oh, yeah. this is sad now. Oh no. <laughs> Destroy a perfectly good marriage. Oh. Well, I guess it wasn't good. If they, they must have been having issues. But yeah, like, clearly there were some problems. But that... like you know, go to go to counseling or something. Don't just throw it all away. This is like such a sad image considering like how high energy and fun the album it is. <laughs> um, Julia, are you yeah. finished? I think we need a I... couple more just like heartbreaking uh, pictures. Just like maybe really... like his wedding ring is on the table. Yeah, just next to really to the show bed. 
Can he be like holding? Can the guy coming home be like holding flowers that he's like yeah. crunching up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Okay. He's like, I realized that I've been putting my job ahead of us, and I wanted to surprise. Oh, oh no. Oh wow. Oh no. Oh yeah, geez. Okay, hold on. Let me just. I thought we had more time. Whip out a whole bouquet of flowers. Okay, hold on. <laughs> you didn't have to. It's happening. <laughs> Welcome to Drop You, where we depict a marriage falling apart slowly. <laughs> All right, we got uh, some flowers here. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, I'm cheating these a little bit. It's got, okay. Got yeah. some wax flowers you in there. You can do it for real in the in the final render. I yeah. don't want to is the thing. I already gave myself so much work. All right. <laughs> yeah, but work more. Yeah, but work Have more. Have you considered work more? Okay, and then, yep, 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 yep. yep. Just, um, yep. Here just, you go. A, just a, a, a heartbreaking moment, frozen in time forever. On, yeah. this, <laughs> on this album art. What a beautiful bouquet of roses, <laughs> aloe vera, and peas. <laughs> <laughs> the classic bouquet. <laughs> uh, let's see the real thing. Yeah. Let's see the real one. Oh. Oh. oh, that's cool. That is cool. That guy's getting eaten by a pterodactyl. He's got a big old mouth. Got a pterodactyl. There's no <laughs> motor booties anywhere. Yeah, but at least I got motors and I got a fare in there. The two things you want to see the most, motors and affairs. Yep. <laughs> I The two albums that you gave us that have illustrations on them, I really like the art styles of both of them. They're both yeah. very fun. Yeah, Motor Booty Affair has a very like chill Silverstein-ish. Uh, yeah. yeah. That's true. That's cool. Dope. Well, album art is good. Album art is good. Uh, not, yeah. not ours, but yeah. you know, the professionals that make it for real, you're doing good work. Keep it up out Keep there. Keep it up out there. <laughs> Speaking of albums. Oh, hey, here we go. Uh, here, uh, let me just uh, plug myself real quick. Uh, you can look me up as Left at London on Spotify, Apple Music, Bandcamp, Tidal, uh, what have you. And you'll be able to find my two EPs and come around August, I want to say. Uh, might be later just because of delays. I should be coming out with an album, like my first full-length album, uh, called You Are Not Alone Enough. Nice. That's a good title. That is a good title. Thank you. That'd, I... be, a good, that'd be a good one to draw for this, even. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you Are Not Alone Enough. I've got 80 more minutes. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for, for coming on the show and uh, for educating us on some music. Yeah, go check out Nat's stuff on all those websites and, and streaming services. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you feel so inclined and want updates on the progress of the album or just general jokes. I recommend it. It's a good Twitter. Yeah, we'll yeah. put uh, links to those in the description of this video. Leave a suggestion of what you'd like to see us draw next. Any uh, suggestions for other fun guests you'd like to see us have on episodes? Because the, these these are always super fun to do. And uh, as always, we're very sorry. Sorry. Love, sorry. Love you all. Mwah. Hello, friends. If you enjoyed that episode of Droppy, you should know that the best way to support us is to sign up for Dropout. For less than the cost of a very mediocre sandwich per month, you will get access to Drawfee videos a week early. You can talk to us on the Discord, and also there's exclusive series you can watch like Nathan's very own Cartoon Hell and Dimension 20. Uh, if you're interested, sign up at dropout.tv for a free trial, and I will put you on my list of very good boys, which I read every night before bed, and I give individual kisses to each name on the list. <laughs>